Hi, in this video, we discuss edge computing and how Red Hat can help solve customer challenges during their journey to the edge. At the end of this video, we'll show a quick demo. Let's get started. What is edge computing? Edge computing is a distributed computing paradigm which brings computation and data storage closer to the sources of data. This means operating with real-time data generated by sensors or users. For many organizations, this ability to process data closer to the sources of data and then making decisions in combination with some of the newer technologies like AI and ML is a key differentiator. But what's the motivation to discuss about this? As per a recent IDC report, there has been a significant increase in the number of edge applications. A majority of the customer-centric organizations are adopting some of these newer technologies. Location of the edge can vary by industry, but here's a view of not only the different edge tiers we often hear about from our customers, but also a visual of Red Hat's focus areas. Enterprise core includes traditional non-edge tiers owned and operated by public cloud providers, telco service providers, or they are the on-prem regional data centers. Provider edge includes edge tiers located between the core or regional data centers and the last mile access, commonly owned and operated by a telco or internet service provider. It can also encompass telecommunication services provider hosted CDNs and VRAN solutions. End user premise edge includes edge tiers on the end user side of the last mile access. This can include the enterprise edge, example, a retail store, a factory, etc. As the image shows, Red Hat's area of focus goes from the end user edge back to the core. When needing to manage large number of devices, sensors as part of the architecture, we have our ecosystem partners that we can bring in to create a comprehensive solution. But where exactly does this apply? Edge computing can create transformational opportunities across verticals like healthcare, retail, manufacturing, automobiles, etc. For instance, manufacturers can use AI-powered apps to discover and solve problems in near real time in the factory floor. Clinicians can receive instant insights to make life-saving decisions. So how does this connect with Red Hat and our approach to the edge? Red Hat's vision is to deliver an open hybrid cloud that is inclusive of edge computing. We believe that edge is a natural extension of the hybrid cloud. When we look at the challenges of scale and operational consistency, Edge cannot be seen as a point solution that needs to be managed separately or differently across hundreds of sites. That would be incredibly complex. In order to be successful, you need to manage your edge sites in the same way you would manage the rest of the places in your network, from the core to the edge. Using zero-touch provisioning and GitOps deployment set of practices, edge clusters can be provisioned in a seamless and consistent manner. Applications can be deployed onto the clusters in a consistent manner, whether they are at the data center core or at the edge locations. The capability to manage nearly 2000 clusters as of today and full application lifecycle management are all part of Red Hat's solution. All this being done in a secure manner by bringing in Red Hat's security expertise. Based on the customer's requirements, whether it is resource constraints or edge management or networking requirements, etc. There are options available in Red Hat's portfolio. There is RHEL plus Podman. There is single node OpenShift, which basically is OpenShift on a single node. There are remote worker nodes, which can be managed by a central cluster. Or there is three node high availability clusters. In addition to these, shortly a new solution for edge called MicroShift will be available. Let us see single node OpenShift in action. The minimum resource requirements for installation of a single node OpenShift cluster are eight vCPU cores, 16 GB of memory, and 120 GB of storage. One of the easier ways for installation of a single node OpenShift cluster is using the assisted installer. 
you can navigate to console.redhat.com and under the data center tab you should see the assisted installer you can click on create cluster provide a cluster name and select the single node openshift option in the description of this video we will provide detailed instructions for installation of a single node openshift cluster let's get to a quick demo in this demo we will show two single node openshift clusters then we will import those clusters into red hat advanced cluster manager and then using Red Hat Advanced Cluster Manager will push applications onto these edge clusters. This is the first single node OpenShift cluster and this is the second single node OpenShift cluster. In the first cluster, if you navigate to the compute tab under nodes, you'll see that there's just one node. This node has both the masters and workers. In the second cluster, if we navigate to the compute tab under nodes, you'll see the same where there's just one node and both the masters and workers running on the same node. As you might have noticed, we are running these clusters on AWS and we are using M5 2X large machines. This is Red Hat Advanced Cluster Manager for Kubernetes interface. I've imported the single node OpenShift clusters into Red Hat Advanced Cluster Manager. Importing the clusters into Advanced Cluster Manager is easy. You can just provide the server URL and API token. I've named the clusters as SNO1 and SNO2. I'll now edit the labels of these clusters and add the label edge equal to true. Red Hat Advanced Cluster Manager can be used to manage edge clusters at scale. As you can see, ACM currently has the capability of managing nearly 2000 single node OpenShift clusters. And shortly around the time frame of release of OpenShift 4.11, you should see this number hit 2500 clusters. I'll now navigate to the Applications tab and create a new application using the subscription method. I'll name the app as Demo App. I'll create a Demo App namespace. I'll select the GitHub repository type and I'll provide the GitHub URL. I'll add the label edge equal to true so that the application can be deployed across the edge single node OpenShift clusters and then I'll hit create. You can see here from the topology view on ACM that the application is being deployed onto both the clusters. I now have navigated to the first single node OpenShift cluster. I'm in the demo app namespace. As you can see, the application has come up. I can access it using the route. I'm now in the demo app namespace in the second single node OpenShift cluster, and the application is up over here as well. We have shown the single node OpenShift clusters and how Red Hat Advanced Cluster Manager can be used to effectively manage and deploy applications onto these single node edge OpenShift clusters. Thanks for watching this demo. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your Red Hat account team. Thank you.